So the next example, example six. Example six, y equals, um, example six is y equals exponential s. Wow. So we want to differentiate this from first principle. Y is equal to exponential s. Well, um, looking at this, ah, it might look very difficult. But I tell myself I will do my best. So let's start. Add increment y plus delta y equal exponential s plus delta s. Subtract y from both sides. Why we come to the other side? I have delta y is equal to exponential s plus delta s minus y. But y is exponential s. So from here, what do I have? Uh, well, what I can see here is that what I can see here is that exponential s is common. Don't forget from law of indices when they say a raised to power m multiplied by a raised to power m, it is a raised to power m plus n. So similarly, when I have a raised to power m plus n, I can write it as a raised to power m multiplied by a raised to power m. So that is what I can see first. So that is delta y will be equal to e raised power s multiplied by e raised power delta s minus exponential s. That is what I have. So exponential s is common. So delta y will now be e raised power s. Then I will be left with e raised power delta s minus 1. So what do I do from there? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do and I look up to God again and say, God, what will happen? And God said, that is very wise because you have made the right decision. Now, God showed me, I said, recall from the McLaurin series. Do you know the McLaurin series of exponential x? So I now look at it, okay, I have to follow God here from the McLaurin series. From all... Oh, um, recall the McLaurin series of S of exponential S. Recall from the McLaurin series of exponential S. So then I have exponential S is actually equal to one plus S plus s squared over 2 factorial plus s cubed over 3 factorial plus s4 over 4 factorial and it goes on like that God told me that I should apply it for e raised power delta s that I don't need it for this one I should use for this so I have exponential delta s will now be equal to that is anywhere i see s i replace with delta s one plus delta s plus delta s all square over two factorial plus delta s all cube over three factorial plus delta s all four over four factorial plus and goes on like that that is what we call McLaurin series. Now, God now told me, look at the brackets. You have exponential delta s minus 1. Now, bring this one to the other side so that you also have exponential delta s minus 1. So, I just obeyed. Let's see what you come out of it. So I bring this one inside to obtain exponential delta s minus 1 to be equal to 1 plus I bring this one in, bring this one in, you will be I'll be left with delta s plus delta s all square over 2 factorial plus delta s all cube over 3 factorial and it goes on like that 
God now told me that I should put it inside this. So I have delta y, which is equal to e raised power s, open bracket, e raised power delta s minus 1. Then I should substitute. Delta y will now be e raised power s. e raised power delta s minus 1 is equal to this. I have delta s plus delta s raised power 2 over 2 factorial plus delta s raised power 3 over 3 factorial and it goes on like that and it goes on like that and it goes on like that so after that the next thing for me that the next thing i will do now is that divide both side by delta s so i'll divide both side by delta s i will be having delta y divided by delta s so this one will also be raised power s open bracket delta s plus delta s all square over 2 factorial plus delta s all cube over 3 factorial and it goes on like that plus all of everything divided by delta s of course if you look at the bracket look at what is in the bracket delta s is common throughout delta s is common throughout so if i factorize delta s out and the delta s will cancel this so that means that by the time I factorize delta s and cancel out, I will be having delta y over delta s. So that I will have e raised power s. Delta s, I've already cancelled it out. This one will now be 1. Since it has cancelled out this one, then it is square before it will remain 1. Delta s over 2 factorial plus this one will now be delta s all square over 3 factorial and it goes on like that. So that at the end of the day, what do we have? So that at the end of the day, what do we have? At the end of the day, we are going to obtain. At the end of the day, take limit of both sides. Limit as delta s goes to zero of delta y over delta s of limit as delta s goes to zero of e raised power s open bracket one plus delta s over two factorial plus delta s all square over three factorial and it goes on like that so anyway it's delta s plus zero so this one will be zero zero and everything upward will be zero so that this one this one will be the y yes is equal to this will be e raised power s we will be left with 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 0 like, and all and all like that so that will just be 1 anything times 1 is still the same thing as that thing so the derivative of course i have written an answer the y ds equal e raised power s